Dr. Johnson's question of the week. Um, this week I am talking about the female condom and the um, application as well as the benefits of the female condom. The reason this came about is because I did a talk last week and a majority of the audience had never um, heard about female condoms so there were several questions about it. Um, thus someone asked if I could talk about it with my question a week and since I since I agreed to do that in the beginning, I have to go ahead. So if this offends anybody, I apologize in advance. Well, the female condom, one, is not used, as I mentioned before, because it's just not known about. Most people have misconceptions about the usage and it being cumbersome. Two, um, people are so used to using male condoms that they really don't want to try or even hear about anything um, different. The, the difference between a female condom and a male condom that I think is a benefit is that one, um, it's, it gives the woman more control. So with male condoms, the, male, the man puts it on, oftentimes does not put it on correctly. And then two, he has the ability to take it off um, as well as if it gets wet on the inside, it can also slip off and have issues. Whereas with the female condom, one, now the female has the control Two, it has a stabilizing ring, so when it goes in the vagina, it does not slip off, and it's very and it has a wide base, so it's hard for it to slip in as well, which in theory should decrease the risk of sexually transmitted disease as well as pregnancy overall. There aren't many studies that put uh, male condoms versus female condoms and look at the success rates um, versus failure rates, um, but just thinking about it logically. Um, you would think that the female condoms uh, success rate would mimic that of male condoms and maybe even be better if used appropriately. So this is what a female condom, this is the package. The package is a lot bigger because it is a, it is a bigger um, device. So this is it. There are two rings on it. So there's a ring. Um, at the base that is just like a male condom except for it's wider. The reason it's wider is because it has to um, it has to span the entire uh, opening of the vagina. There's another ring as well and this is a foldable, I mean this is a um, collapsible ring, sort of like a new ring but it's a collapsible ring that allows you to fit the female condom inside of the vagina. So this is my model. If you squeeze, you basically squeeze the collapsible ring, which is the smaller ring, and very easily place it inside of the vagina. Um, it is already lubricated, but you can add lubrication just like a regular condom. You push that ring in, and you don't have to push it far in, but it'll just go in. And once, it, once you push it in, this model is very short, so it doesn't show you exactly how an actual usage would be. But once you push it in, the larger ring basically sits on the outer skirts of the vagina, just like, of the opening of the vagina, just like this. So now, um, penis inserts and you cannot pull it out. So that's the biggest benefit. Number one, it has a wide base so that you can't really go around it. Um, and two, the ring on the inside is stabilized so it doesn't pull out. Um, but that's it. I'll open the floor up to questions. Um, I am a great, I am a big proponent of these. Um, more than anything, it gives the, a woman more control as far as um, contraception for intercourse. Thanks.